All right, YouTube. So if your DirecTV system is down, then I'm going to go through some things you can check. Uh, if you have an error code 775 or 771, then go through these, what I'm telling you here, and you might be able to fix your problem. Obviously, if you had a crap install or there's a crazy storm that busted up your dish, then there's nothing that's going to replace it except for a brand new dish or a correct install. So let's uh, go through everything and um, hopefully it helps you out. All right, guys, this is my dish here. So just to uh, uh, troubleshoot it, obviously I have mine down on the ground because one, it's easy for access. Um, they will accumulate snow. So if you see your error code 771, 775, and you live in a climate where there's snow, make sure there's no snow accumulated anywhere here. Now, mostly uh, your signal is gonna come uh, from the DirecTV logo right up in here. So you get so, so, snow down in here, it's not gonna affect it too much, but if up here is where it does, and obviously, it melts and freezes and you're gonna ice ice build up and that's actually what really kills it um, and then obviously anything that's in in front of the LMB right here so <clears throat> another thing to keep in mind is um, you got your you, mostly you're only gonna have one coax going into the LMB so you can just take this little latch off right here and then pull it out once it's on you know not zip tied not attached and check the connect check the F connector because sometimes those corrode out and they can cause issues you'll have to replace that so at the satellite dish if it's on your roof, you're just gonna have to figure a way to get up there. Um, but again, there's a couple of things to keep in mind here as well. Um, now, now I can't tell you if you know if your dish is out of alignment, a big windstorm hit, no, it wasn't installed correctly. Um, you'll have to realign your dish, um, and I'll link a um, that video in the, the uh, <clears throat> description below in this video on how to realign your dish. All right, so you may have a power supply. Uh, this is the swim power supply. You may only have one coax going into the red part. Let's see if I can get a light in here. So you have the red and you have the um, yellow slash orange. Red is what provides power to your LMB. Now the newer system, Genie 2, HR54, H44, they have this built in. So if you have that, if you have that type of uh, receiver, you may not have this. So, but if you do, a couple things to look at. Make sure obviously it's plugged in. Make sure the, the power. Uh, the plug you're plugging into has power. If you have a green light, then it's getting good power. If you have a blinking green light or it's not actually on at all, um, do a couple things here first. Uh, basically, take off the, the uh, coax. And if you, once you take off the coax and the light it lights up, it means you either have a short or you're grounded out somewhere. So um, you have to go through each of your connectors, your coax, see where exactly you have that ground at so if you plug in the coax f connector back in and the light immediately starts flashing or turns off it means you have a ground somewhere um now also if you uh if you tur turn it off or you take the uh the f connector off and you still don't have a light that means either this is bad or the plug itself you're not getting power to it so a couple things to keep in mind with that um now Again, you may not have this because of the newer system, but that's another thing to keep in mind. If you have one that looks gray, it's because you have a multi-switch. Same things apply to it. You could have grounds, all that kind of stuff as well. All right, just like uh, before, these are my uh, power supplies for my uh, Swim 16s here. So um, I have two, obviously a green light. If you don't have a green light on your power supply, then you know, you, like I said before, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have to troubleshoot why you have, a, you know, your system's grounded. Um, or you know ground it out basically, but also check you're gonna have if you have more than a couple TVs or more than one TV You're gonna have a splitter of some sort. So make sure that on each connection is tight um, Take them off make sure there's no corrosion if this is outside make sure you're gonna take a, every one of them off Because water seeps through everything get uh, your 7 16th wrench take them off and keep them in the exact same spot They are on the splitter because you know You don't you have one that powers your system somewhere whether it's the receiver or whether it's a power supply but check, make sure the stinger is good. You don't have any water in the corroded in the system. If it is, it's gonna the um, center part's gonna be really black, and then you know you're gonna need a new splitter. Um, and then you I mean you, you can either buy one or wait for a uh, service tech to come out and fix it for you. So pretty straightforward. Um, you could have a four, a uh, a four way, an eight way, a two way. It doesn't matter. Um, you know if it's outside, the water's gonna get to it. It really, it never really, it it always does. So there's that. All right, so my house doesn't have an outside exterior ground source, so I'm gonna show you guys a video of another house that does, so something you look for. Again, it's an outside uh, grounding source, so it's a point of failure. That's, that's why I don't have one on my house, because it's a point of failure. So you might have your entire splitters on the outside of your house, but if you have a ground block, do you wanna check it, make sure, because water can and does get seep into there, and 
Um, there's no way to fix it except for a new F connector and a new ground block or a barrel just to like, get you by. But uh, yeah, check them. Take a 7 16 wrench, check them. Make sure the stinger is good, not corroded or anything like that. So I'll put the tape in um, right here, but just letting you know, uh, it's another point to check. All right, so this might this is probably what it looks like on the outside of your house, or at least it should. Um, you're going to have one line coming from the uh, satellite dish, wherever that may be, and you're going to have a service loop or a ground block, and you're going to have a... Gr um, a uh, ground going to a strand to the you know, it's grounded period so this is not for lightning so if somebody tells you it's lightning just tell them they're wrong uh, it's a static discharge basically so if you have issues you can see it's, it's raining right now but you can see you now you water is eventually going to get in here regardless however much time it might it's going to probably take years i've seen it happen in like maybe a week or two from a new install so take your 716 take these off make sure they don't look like that I don't know if I can focus or not, but um, corrosion, that's obviously because it's uh, um, to the elements. So you don't want your stingers looking like that inside because obviously it's going to cause your 771, 775 error code. So this is what uh, you want to look for in the outside of your house or condo or wherever you're at. Um, and then make sure this is a point of failure. I don't have this on my house because this is a point of failure. So mine goes directly in and I ground it on the inside um, to the cold water. So that's it for this. All right guys, that's it for this video. That's pretty much the main parts to check. Um, there's other things you can do. Um, definitely reset your receiver, um, unplug it, uh, let it stand for 10 seconds, plug it back in to see. Um, but if you're having a 771 error code, 775 error code, that's there's not much you're gonna be able to do. Now, providing you don't have inclement weather in your system, if you're, if you're YouTubing this right now and you have bad weather in your system, nothing's gonna fix it because it's called weather fate. So wait for that storm to pass your system should be come back up unless a tree or a car or you know a tornado hit it or something like that. So nothing's gonna fix that without a new new equipment. So um, stay tuned. I'm, I'm gonna have a uh, couple video series about walking you through as far as being in a handyman or anybody you can walk through in a complete direct TV install from start to finish. Um, that way anybody can do it. That way you know exactly what it takes, the tools it takes, and everything like that. It's, it's pretty simple. Don't I mean I'm not saying it's rocket science by any means, but uh, that way it gives you a understanding or anybody who wants to get into this field and understanding of what it takes so uh like and subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video oh my cat's uh cleaning herself over there so that's fine so all right guys talk to you later